to my channel. My name is Krisha. So today's video is going to be really exciting. It's a two-part video. First, we're going to go over my monthly June favorites, and there's some real goodies in here. And then we're going to go into the giveaway, and I'm going to do the draw. Um, well, not live because it's going to be taped, but it's, it's live. I'm going to do it on camera. So before we get into all of that, of course, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell just to be reminded when I do post a video. It really helps a lot, especially since I am quite a new YouTuber. So kind of gets me more into the sync of or algorithm of the videos. And then, of course, on Instagram as well, at Zagami Beauty. I am so excited, you guys. I can't wait to draw the name. It's, it's yeah, it's so exciting. Okay, so let's get straight into the monthly favorites. Okay, so the first product we're gonna start off with is the Clarins Plant Gold. This is a two-part serum. I use it specifically on my cheeks. Um, when you pump it out, you get mostly a lotion and then you get a little couple drops of an oil. So it has a bunch of different oils in there. It has sweet almond oil, it has hazel oil, it has, um, some patchouli oil extract, which is what kind of gives it that slightly earthy smell, so it's not your typical fruity Clarence fragrance. Prevent dehydration, create some glow, um, but mainly I find it's a moisturizing serum, which I use just underneath my moisturizer as a last step and only on my cheeks. This I've been using and loving, and my cheeks do not get tight. They stay nice and plump and moisturized. The next item um, is going to be this amazing, amazing tinted moisturizer slash foundation. So Skin Feels Good by Lancome. I have it in the shade 025W. This is beautiful. And when I first showed this product and used it on camera in a previous video, I essentially did my usual thing that I do with foundations. I put it on first either with my fingers or a brush, and then I used a sponge to sort of like push the product in. And it looked fine, it was okay. But as I've been using it more and more and more, and I literally reach for this every single day, especially when I go to work, is I just use it um, with a brush. So I essentially just put one full pump on my fingers, dab it on all over, and just kind of like gently smear it on. And then I take a nice dense kabuki brush, my foundation brush, and I just gently apply it and sweep it all over my face. And what I love about this technique is that it still maintains the glow of this product. When I was using a damp sponge, A, it picked up quite a bit of product, and then it just kind of dulled it. It dulled the finish. But by using a brush with this product, wow, it just really, really creates an even finish. It's really glowy, absolutely amazing. I cannot believe how good this product is. I think it's on sale on Sephora's website for Canada Day sale. So um, this is being posted afterwards. I don't know how long the sale lasts. I'm gonna pick up another tube as a backup. I love it. And I especially love it over top of my sunscreen because it's such a thin formula. When I'm applying it, I don't feel like it's disturbing my sunscreen underneath. And I use a physical block, so I don't want it to be too disturbed. And this is just fantastic. It wears well. It doesn't go crazy greasy throughout the day. My T-zone stays intact. It's just, it's fantastic. It doesn't oxidize. I just love it, love it, love it. Next product is going to be this little gem here. So this is a foiled eyeshadow from MAC and it's part of their bronze collection for this summer. And I have it in the shade Monococo. This is just absolutely the most stunning yet easy product to use. I like to use it pretty much every day, especially if I'm running late for work which um, happens a lot, especially if I'm just going to be with the girls, but I want a little bit of something, something on my eyes. I just rub my finger all over the pan, swipe it on, maybe put a little bit of bronzer in my crease and I am good to go. It gives me a shiny effect. It stays on all day. It is a flattering color, especially this particular shade, I think would be neutral for anyone. I just love it. It's fan fantastic. Like I said, limited edition summer collection. So if it's something that interests you, I would definitely look into picking it up sooner than later. And I might actually go in and get a couple more shades. I know they had some purpley shades, some taupier, um, pinky shades, um, a creamy shade, a darker brown shade. It's just a really neutral, neutral collection. And the formula is just top notch, easy to use. Love these. Next, you're going to see my Oh my gosh, I can't believe how much I love this mascara and it just keeps getting better and better and better as I use it. Marc Jacobs at Lashed. Wow, and I did not think that a natural bristled brush was ever going to replace any rubber bristled brush that I have loved thus far, which includes the Chanel Le Volume Mascara. 
total holy grail prior to this. Still love it, don't get me wrong, but this has just blown this out of the water. The Dior Pump and Volume HD, loved that one too. This has blown that out of the water. It is just something else. You get impact with the first coat, but you can keep building it up and building it up. And you guys will see, I'm putting on three coats when I'm done with this little clip. Um, the last picture will be the third coat, and it just holds the curl. It gives you just enough volume. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake, it wears well, it washes off easily, so easily with warm water. And then if you use your cleanser to kind of get rid of the rest of your makeup, it's gone, it's off your face. But yet, it doesn't budge. It does not budge during the day. Your lashes stay soft, they stay malleable. Um, I don't know, I can't find a fault with this. The packaging is just unbelievable. Like, it's just black and gold and classy and chic. It has an amazing weight to it. I cannot say enough good things about this mascara. If you are ever going to think about investing into a higher end mascara, I don't know, I don't know how you can go wrong with this. I. Again, it, it may not be for everyone. Again, all makeup isn't for everyone necessarily, but I cannot believe how good this is. And I just wanna keep using it and using it and using it. And I don't see myself ever being without this in my collection. So let's go into the bronzer that I've been using and which has just momentarily, this is not for life, but just momentarily for summer, especially replaced by Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in Tan Trick, Tan Trick. Those names are just so confusing. Tantalized, Tantric, Tantastic, like, but the one I love is Tantric. And this one has just replaced it, like I said, momentarily, probably for most of the summer, I would say, just because the smell is just summer in a compact, and I just love it, I love it. This is the Guerlain Sculpting Powder Finish Bronzer in Medium. I initially bought it in light, and it was okay but it was too light for me to give any really bronzy impact. It might be good for winter, I'll revisit that shade in the winter, but for summer, medium is just perfect. Comes in three shades, light, medium, and I believe dark, and it is just fantastic. It goes on super sheer so you can build it up, it wears well during the day, and it actually, as your oils start to be produced during the day, you start getting this really, really natural looking tanned look to your skin. It is just stunning how well it wears during the day. And the biggest thing that I love about this, which I haven't liked about a lot of Gear Lamp Press products in the past, it's not creating hard pan. There are other bronzers, the Mosaic one, which was the Sheer Shimmer bronzer that created hard pan. Their regular terracotta bronzer I tried, I believe in the shade Medium, that created hard pan. This one is not creating any hard pan and I'm using the same brushes that I would normally use. So this formula I feel has been an improvement to the previous terracotta formula in my opinion and it's just beautiful. It's sheer, it's matte, like I said, throughout the day as your natural oils mix in your skin just starts to have this lovely natural glow, literally like you've been on your, your yacht all afternoon and you just happen to have a mixture of oils and natural bronze skin by the end of the day. Perfection, love this so much. Last but not least, most definitely not least, this baby here. So, Meteorite's Pearl Dust Palette. This one is just fantastic, it is limited edition, so again, if it's something you're interested in after I gush over it. Definitely take a look um, see if you can still pick it up. This is going to be a highlighting palette by Guerlain in the Meteorites line. So it has that um, smell of violets. Absolutely stunning. Three shades. For me, the highlighting shades would be these two, the pink and sort of the glossy light yellow. The other shade I can use as a bronzer topper. It's a powder trying to be a cream and a cream trying to be a powder. It doesn't really know what it is and it actually works in this case because it picks up like a powder onto your brush so you don't have to worry about dabbing on. You can still swipe it on but it melts into your skin like a cream. It's just the most beautiful formula that I've ever experienced in a highlighter. Natasha Denona makes her intense highlighter, which is kind of in that same almost realm where it's slightly creamy. This is just even more finely milled and even more creamy, but yet again, it performs with the ease of a powder. So absolutely love this. It is scented, like I said, with the violets, that typical meteorite powdery scent. I personally love it, I find it nostalgic, it's typical Guerlain, I love it. The compact is absolutely stunning, tons of product. I mean, eight and a half grams between all of them. So, decent amount of product, especially for a highlighter palette. You will not run out anytime soon. 
I don't know, I can't say enough good things. I just have not been able to put this down. Okay guys, now for the most exciting part of the video, the giveaway. So what I'm gonna be doing is, um, everyone that qualified, so the cutoff was on Sunday at noon my time, um, Mountain um, Standard Time. I, everyone that qualified, I just put down, and I know I'm so old school, like, I should have done this on a computer, obviously, probably on a spreadsheet. But I just, I don't know, like this is just me. I write everything down, okay? So I have everyone's name written down and numbered, of course. Um, so what I'm gonna do is on my phone, I'm going to do a random pick and then whoever matches on that line is the person that wins. And again, just a reminder, um, it'll be for the do our lip glow in 001. I'll of course DM you on Instagram and then get your information so that I can send it to you at that point. So here we go. This is the random picker. I just have to press the button. I don't know, I'm so nervous. Okay, oh. Okay, number 19, you guys. Ah, just wanna make sure you guys can see it. So number 19, number 19, number 19, number 19, number 19. Hazel Joy Marin. So congratulations, Hazel. I will contact you on Instagram and we'll get your address so that I can send this out to you. Congratulations, and I just wanted to thank everyone else that subscribed, that qualified for the draw and participated in it. I am going to be having obviously more giveaways. This is just really exciting and I am so thankful for all of your guys' support and kind words. The people that are joining my channel are just so lovely. You guys are just so lovely. And thank you so much for, like I said, for the support, the kind words, participating, subscribing. It means really so much to me. So more giveaways to come. My next one is going to be the 500 subscriber mark. So I'm really excited to get to that point as well. In the meantime, take care of each other. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. My next video probably will be early next week and I'll talk to you then. Bye.